joining us for KML Recognition Week, day two. Today, where we acknowledge the athletic accomplishments of our KML athletes. We'll be kicking off our presentation today with recognizing specifically our KML Scholar athletes. As our KML Scholar athletes see their names on the screen, I would ask that they join me on stage. When your name is called, please head to Mr. Albrecht, who will be up here standing at the table to receive your award, and then you can remain on the stage. The first person in line, there are a couple pink X's at the far side of the stage. If you could just make sure you walk all the way down to them, that would be fantastic. And then we'll save our applause until after the full listing of recipients has been read. All right, scholar athletes, as you see your names, you can come on up. While they're coming up, I'll read a little bit of an intro on what it takes to be a KML scholar athlete. Our KML scholar athletes must have a cumulative GPA of 3.60 or higher. They must have no code of conduct violations. They have to receive a varsity letter in their given sport, and they must make a significant performance contribution to their team. This award is generally given to a junior or senior. Today we're going to start first with the fall KML scholar athletes. In boys cross country, Ethan Rodell. In girls cross country, Haven Rohde. In football, Marcus Martin. Girls golf, Delaney McCoy. Boys soccer, Ryan Weed. Volleyball, Ella Walls. In the winter season, boys basketball, Josh Anhalt. Girls basketball, Mackenzie Walsh. Cheer, Hazel Wagey. In the spring season, baseball, John Kepke. Girls soccer, Ella Walls. Boys golf, Isaiah Shazer. Softball, Delaney McCoy. And girls and boys track and field, Alice Kane. And Marcus Martin. Let's hear it for all of our KML Scholar Athletes. As they're exiting the stage, next up we will be presenting our ECC Scholar Athlete Awards. Again, if your name is on the screen, if you could join me up on the stage, and some of you may be sticking around. Um, the ECC Scholar Athlete Criteria is very similar to the KML Scholar Athlete Criteria, but it is different in two ways. So if you look at the screen, point number three, which is students are eligible after they complete seven semesters is now relevant for this award. And point number five, recipients have to receive at least one letter in their senior year. So that's how the ECC award is a little bit different. All right, we'll start off left to right. First off, Hunter Abbotts. Come on over to Mr. Albrecht. Josh Anhalt. Charlie Biratieri, Alice Kane, Gabby Klubertans, Sam Cole, Piper Licktig, Trey Leering. John Martin, Marcus Martin, Noah Mitchell, Chloe Ryder, Ethan Rodell, Katie Scheinemann, Kira Schoper, Michael Sonnenberg, Micah Vanderhoof, Kenzie Walsh, 
Ella Walls, Ryan Weed, and Eli Zarling. Thank you for your dedication to academics and athletics, and congratulations, ECC Scholar Athletes. The WIAA Scholar Athlete Award is a prestigious award given to one male and one female student from each WIAA member school who meet and exceed the criteria set forth by the WIAA. That criteria is similar to our Scholar Athlete and ECC criteria, and you can see how it is different if you read through that slide. Uh, I will say in uh, awarding this special award, we have a higher consideration for multi-sport athletes, and our male and female winners are both three-sport athletes. I would ask at this time that Josh Anhalt and Ella Walls would join us up on stage. All right, this year, let's hear it for our WIA Scholar Athletes, Josh and Halt, let's hear it for Josh. Congratulations. And Ella Walls. Up next, we are acknowledging our team MVPs. KML coaches set the criteria for this award and they cho choose exemplary athletes who have been top performers during the given athletic season. I would ask at this time our team MVPs join me on stage. First up, as they're coming up, we are going to start with the fall MVPs, then we will move to winter, and notice spring is the spring MVPs of last season. The spring MVPs for this current season have obviously not yet been decided. We'll give them a second to get up on stage, and again, we're gonna start with the Fall MVPs. First up in cross country, we have Alice Kane and Kyle Keeper. In football, Dan Bierman. In girls golf, Gabby Klupertons. In boys soccer, Rowan Mueller. In volleyball, Sam Cole. Moving into the winter season, boys basketball, we have two. Trey Learing and Gary Murphy. And cheer is Katie Scheinemann. And from last spring in baseball, Landon Hagenau. and softball, Sam Cole. Congratulations to all of our team MVPs. <laughs> Up next, we honor those who have received special postseason awards. These awards often come in much after seasons have finished up. The next two recipients, each have received Player of the Year honors. If you see your name, please join me on stage. As they are coming up, I'll talk a little bit about the criteria for the Player of the Year. So the ECC coaches within each sport vote at their all-conference meetings and select a Player of the Year for each sport. This year, we have a couple Players of the Year here at KML. We will also acknowledge a few special awards that are given by the media. First up, our ECC Player of the Year in Volleyball. Congratulations to Sam Cole. And our Player of the Year in Baseball, Landon Hagenau. We have some All-State awards as well. All-State awards for performance are chosen by the coaches within, within each given state association. Recipients of all state awards for academics must meet the coaches' association criteria. 
And so for the Lutheran High School All-America soccer teams, we have Jonah DeFore, second team. Yeah. Rowan Mueller is first team. Yeah. And Ethan Springle is third team. Congratulations. All right, we have some extra postseason All-State winners. So we're going to call them up in a separate group. This is a, a larger group. So again, as you see your name up there, if you would please join me on stage. We will start with those that are nominated for All-State. And then we will talk through All-Star team, All-Region team, and All-District. Every sport is a little bit different and has a slightly different name. But ultimately, all of these were voted on again by the coaches' associations. So I'll read the association names after the athlete who is receiving that award. So first up, All-State Volleyball, Emily Hanzelka, WVCA D2, first team. <laughs> Sam Cole received the same award, D2, honorable mention. And in cheer, we have Nighty Cardona, Michaela Haft, Isabella Leitz, and Chloe Ryder, WACPC. Oh, and I forgot, Katie Scheinemann. Let's hear it for all the cheer, WACPC. <laughs> the all-star team, Dan Bierman, football. That is a WFCA vote. Let's hear it for Dan. In girls basketball, WBCA, Mackenzie Lehring. And in boys basketball, Trey Lehring. All region team for football, Dan Bierman. And all district team for baseball, WBCA second team, Landon Hagenow. Let's hear it one more time for our All-State winners. Congratulations. <laughs> Katie, you can stay. Katie, Sam. Trey, McKenzie, you can stay. Michaela, you can stay. All right. Up next, we are acknowledging those who have made academic All-State teams. If your name is on the screen, please make your way up. In order to be an academic All-State member, the participants must meet the academic and GPA criteria of the given coaches association. There's a larger group coming up, so again, if you can move all the way down to the pink X's, we will have to go in two rows for this. As I'm reading names, if you would please, when your name is read, come to Mr. Albrecht. I will read all the names and then we will give everyone a round of applause at the end of the listing. We're going to start with Academic All-State, which is a WFCA award. First up in football, Trey Lehring and Marcus Martin. Academic D2, honorable mention, All-State, Girls Golf, Gabby Anderson. Katia Blodell, Delaney McCoy, and Layla Schultz. All Academic Volleyball, Ambrin Annenson, Brooklyn Bartelt, Meredith Bach, Sydney Falkowski, Amanda Hillman, Audrey Jacklin, Sam Cole, Anna Leong, Kenzie Walsh, Ella Walls, our cheer scholar athletes, 
Julia Balza, Riley Ailey, Lauren Gevin, Michaela Haft, Anna Kickbush, Claire Knazer, AJ Kutz, Michaela McCarthy, Reese Mucha, Caitlin Fundner, Amelia Sherwinski, Katie Scheinemann, Ella Stolzman, Hazel Wagey, Kennedy Waiter, and Michelle Wills. Academic All-State Girls Basketball, Ava Colliard, Haley Hess, Amanda Hillman, Taylor Ignatowski, Maddie Leffel, Mackenzie Leering, Melanie Miner, Molly Murphy, Kenzie Walsh, and Ella Walls. Academic D2 Honorable Mention All State Boys Golf, Colin Drager, Will Strom, and Isaiah Shazer. Congratulations to all of our athletes on this amazing accomplishment. As they are exiting the stage, our last category for today allows us to pause and honor our faithful KML coaches who commit themselves to positively influencing our youth and faithfully training Christian servant leaders. Interscholastic athletics would not be possible without our coaches' amazing dedication. Today we are recognizing our coaches that have hit significant milestones in their KML coaching careers. We'd ask our coaches if they are present to just rise at their seats when their name is called. First up, five years, Jed Elzey, football. James Livingston, boys golf. Matt Rydecki, baseball and football. Dave Stoltz, basketball. <laughs> 10 years, football, Darren Knoll. <laughs> 15 years in baseball, Tom Fisher. <laughs> and also baseball, Bill Mance. Observing 25 years of coaching cross country, let's hear it for Coach Tim Keel. We thank all of our coaches for their serious commitment to KML Athletics. Thank you for all of your time and dedication. That's all for today. Tomorrow, we will honor those in fine arts. You are excused.